Father Bush managed to discover some really important sites in history when he went into the North Yorkshire Moors. Starting out in North Allerton, he moved then down to Thirsk with some rather interesting visits there, then over to Rebo Abbey, down to Castle Howard, and then we went back home to Wombwell to talk about all of the exciting and important places he had seen. First, though, here is North Allerton. There has been a settlement at North Allerton since Roman times. However, its growth in importance began in the 11th century when King William II gifted land to the Bishop of Durham. Under the bishop's authority, North Allerton became an important center for religious affairs. Thirsk is a small market town of 5,000, just eight miles southeast of North Allerton. It's a popular tourist destination and it's close to all the moors and the dales. It's also the home of James Herriot, the one who gave us all creatures great and small. Castle Howard is a stately home right in the middle of the North Yorkshire Moors, and it's only 15 miles from York, one of the grandest private residences in Britain. Most of it was built between 1699 and 1712 for the third Earl of Carlisle. As a Yorkshireman, we like to think of Yorkshire as being God's county, where every blade of grass is blessed. And just looking at these beautiful, magnificent scenes of the Yorkshire Dales, you can certainly appreciate how beautiful, how gorgeous this countryside is. This is my county, Yorkshire, full of interesting places, bridges that are made out of stone, heather that stretch across the moorland. There are birds of all kinds flying in the air above this ground. Railways such as this one on the settle line, magnificent viaducts there. Patchwork fields glisten in the sun. It is a magnificent countryside. It is breathtakingly beautiful, and for anyone who is a hiker, it's an absolute haven. Of course, for the photographer, it is something else. It's, it's hard to decide where you want to go to take your photographs. Just about everywhere you go is a place that you can photograph. And, of course, you can also have a nice little sip of the local ale, such as the Georgian Dragon there, or this pub in the middle of the dales. Market towns like this, small ones of about 5,000, are all over the place. But it's well worth the visit. Forget the great places such as Paris and London. Come to England. No, come to Yorkshire. Come to this part and really see the magnificence of God's County where every blade of grass is blessed. Rebo Abbey is a Cistercian Abbey which was founded in 1132 with only 12 monks. The abbey lies in a wooded dale by the river Rye, sheltered by hills. To suit their purposes, the monks altered the course of the river, which showed their technological ingenuity. Over time, the monks built up a very profitable business mining lead and iron. The abbey became very wealthy over the years that followed and had over 140 monks and many more lay brothers at its height.
The abbey was dissolved by Henry VIII in 1538. At the time it was said to have 72 buildings and most importantly it had a blast furnace. And this blast furnace produced cast iron as efficiently as any modern day blast furnace which according to the experts Henry's closure delayed the Industrial Revolution by two and a half centuries. Ampleforth is a Benedictine monastery and school of extraordinary excellence. It ranks right along with Eton and Harrow. There's no doubt about it, if you've got the money, this is the best place to send your child. 